Isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. So since today is Monday, nandito tayo sa ating panibagong series which is the first gospel or understanding the gospel. So this will be our main topic for today since ito yung first installment natin for this series. So ang main topic natin for today is yung the first gospel or ang unang ibanghelyo. So, in connection to our topic for today, ang um, Bible verse na ating tatalakayin ay ang Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. So, um, most, ano, parang yung usually sinasabi nila na nasa New Testament lang yung um, statement ng coming of the Messiah. But sabi nga ni Pastor Russell sa Genesis chapter 3 pa lang is makikita na natin siya. And here it is, di ba? So, Basahin na natin in English Standard Version, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. So in Filipino translation naman or in ang salita ng Diyos, Tagalog Contemporary Bible Version, Ikaw at ang babae ay mag-aaway. Ang lahi mo at ang lahi niya ay mag-aaway din. Dudurugin niya ang ulo mo at tutuklawin mo ang sakong niya. So, for the background of this verse, so, as per the last sentence nitong verse natin, ibig sabihin, di ba, nakarating na si Jesus Christ. Here is our Jesus Christ. So, for our teaching, this is the first gospel. Yung ang unang ibanghelyo. Number one, God's promise of the coming of the Messiah. The Messiah is Jesus Christ. So, pinakita niya rito or sinabi niya rito na dudurugin niya ang ulo mo. So, inintroduce na niya si Jesus Christ. ba? Parang inannounce na niya yung coming of the Messiah. So, that is one of his promises which is the coming of the Messiah. Number two, God's announcement of the suffering of the Messiah. Since... Diba? Si Jesus Christ, He came down to us para isave tayo sa mga kasalanan natin to cleanse us. And because of that, He has to suffer, diba? He has to suffer all the sec- all the consequences of our actions para hindi na tayo mahirapan. And para hindi tayo um, mamatay. Kasi nga, um, wage or the wages of sin is death. So, para hindi natin kaharapin yun, si Jesus Christ na yun nag-suffer. And that is God's announcement, the suffering of the Messiah, of Jesus Christ. And number three, God's declaration of the victory of the Messiah. So, si God declare niya yung victory of the Messiah. Yung victory na He has risen again, di ba? So, this is good news. So, hindi lang pala talaga sa New Testament matatagpuan yung mga um, magagandang balita. Yung the coming, especially the coming of the Messiah. Dahil dito pa nga lang sa Genesis chapter 3 verses fi- verse 15, makikita na natin yung God's declaration of the victory of the Messiah. So, ngayon naman is proceed tayo sa ating application. Number one, praise God for fulfilling His promise. Number two, believe that Jesus suffered on our behalf. And number three, live a victorious Christian life. So, for our discussion part, by now, since natapas na natin itong devotion for today, we should be able to identify in our own words the ways how we can explain the first gospel to our family and friends.